Yo, Atlanta, what's happening with y'all? It's been a long time, you know, since we talked, but I'm not going to say we back <laughs> just yet. I'm not going to say it. I will say, though, we will react to a Dean P's interview after training camp or whatever the fuck before. I don't know what it was, but people, t people were telling me to watch it. So we already know about Dean Pease's history. This man is top tier coordinator, top tier coach when it comes to defense. All of his defenses is literally like top five until he came to us. <laughs> As we know, our defense has been bad for a long time, bro. Our defense is terrible. I'm hoping he can turn it around with the new guys that we brought in, the young guys. Hopefully, Richie Grant can take a big step. Uh, I'm hoping for. Big things for this defense. Now, I know this team is going to suck, but I just want to see improvement. That's all I want to see. I want to see these young guys improve. So, let's see what he has to say about that. I, I'm, I'm hearing everybody tell me to watch this. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to react to it. Let me turn him all the way up because we already know the volume on these things be so low. Y'all are a billion dollar, million yeah, dollar I mean, dollars. Yeah, sometimes you're going to get in a few scuffles when stuff starts getting competitive. But that's what you want. You don't want guys sitting back and being passive. That's football. It's he said, pussy? What did he just say? Facts. We don't want none of that. None of that goody two-shoe player. I've been saying that for the longest. We keep getting these choir boys, these church boys, the the the, the predominantly white school boy. I want some nitty-gritty. You, you, you got to think twice about letting them out at night because you know they finna do something stupid. I want those type of players. Give me those type of players. I feel like those are the ones where I know on the field they're going to be great they're gonna dominate, and I have I don't have to question them about their talent because I know they're gonna put it on the line. That pride of theirs is gonna allow them to be great on the field. Let me see what he has. Competitive, to say. but that's what you want. You don't want guys sitting. Oh, what is the cameraman doing? Back bro? and being passive. That's football. It's a tough ass sport, and so you want Facts. guys that are gonna compete and get. And what you want is guys that kind of get their burr up a little bit when you get beat. You know, you don't want somebody like, oh, okay, I got beat, and then come back. You want the guy to come back Facts. and fight. And Facts. That's, I don't want a fist fight, but I just, you want the. I always thought fist fights in football was stupid. Like, bro, we have pads, we have helmets on. Like, you're a literal idiot to punch a helmet. I, but that's for You guys come back, and that's what you're looking for and compete. Now, slamming someone on their neck, that's different. I, I would rather do that than punch a helmet. Don't take it. Don't, we. You know, we talked about it before and talked about it a little bit last spring and defense especially. We're changing a culture around this day going Yes, place, okay? yes. And it's not going to be mediocre. It's not going to be average. It's not going to be in the bottom half of the league like it's been 15 out of the last 20 Finally. years. Finally, yes. Sick of that crap. We're sick of we it. we got to take charge. And it ain't going to be anybody else to do it but us. Yes. Okay? I'm tired of everybody telling us how bad we are. I'm, I'm glad y'all tired. I'm going to keep telling y'all until y'all engrave it in y'all stupid head. Y'all suck. But I'm glad that he's speaking on that. He's tired of people telling him that they suck. So they acknowledge it. That's the first step. Acknowledging. Acknowledging that y'all are terrible is the first step. Now, what are we doing? I like what he's saying. He's saying we're changing the culture. Change that culture, please. I want to be known as a heavy hitting defense. After a a fear defense. Somebody, like, the feeling you get when you hear about the Steelers defense, the, the, who else? Ravens defense. Like, I want that feeling like, yeah, are we going against that defense? Can our, can our offense handle them? I want to be known as that type of defense, bro. When are we going to get to that point? We haven't been feared in I don't know how long, bro. Now it's offense and defense. It's bad. We're a terrible team. We're bottom five. But I'm glad that they're acknowledging it. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Pease. Thank you. I hope you stay here until we win the Super Bowl. Now, I don't know how many years you have left in your life, <laughs> but I hope we win a Super Bowl here and then you can retire peacefully, bro, with a top five defense. Now, with that being said, I don't know how long it's going to take for a Super Bowl winning team out of this team. It could be years. It could be next year. Who knows? Who knows? How you start believing it. Just like you tell you, you never tell your children and stuff like, hey, you guys, you don't, you, you, you get mad at a teacher that says, you know, telling some kid he's stupid, right? You don't ever Ooh. tell somebody that because pretty soon they start believing it. Bro, why does my webcam just keep dying, bro? I <laughs> Hold on. Technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Hold on.
All right. Guys around here on defense sometimes believe, hey, 15th is okay or whatever. I've been in the top 10 one time out of the last 20 years. That bullshit is over. Oh, yeah, I like that old school because it's telling it like it that bullshit over with. Why they blur it out? We know we're all grown. Ain't no kid watching this. It's all grown people watching this. But I like that. Top 10 in, in 20 years? One time? Oh, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Okay, sorry, I'm getting fired up today, but I'm tired of this crap. We're going to change the culture of the defense around this freaking place. People are going to start talking about Atlanta defense like they did at Baltimore, like they did at New England. I literally just said that. I literally said that. We're on the same page, coach. We're on the same page. I like to keep it real. He likes to keep it real. We're not going to pussyfoot around this topic. We're not going to sugarcoat it. We suck. But I'm glad. See, this is why I like Peas, because he tell it like it is. Meanwhile, y'all come in the comment section. Y'all be so hurt when I tell it. But when he says it, you know what I'm saying? Why y'all be hurt when I say it? I'm just calling it like it is. And if y'all want to put money on it, let's see. Talk. Look, money talk. I always bring it up. If you're so confident in this team, put your money where your mouth is. Or you can put it on the link down below. Bet US, use my link, sign up right now. $100 minimum. Do it. It's going to be the same around here. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I swear. How do you do that? Uh, uh, Please close out of the No, they're, they're dashes. I'm going to be good on the podcast. We can say that on the internet. I have like 10 people talking. What how do you do that? I mean, how do I do it, Mike? Think about it. Think about it. That's called competing. That's what you do. You get after him. You want other guys to get after other guys, too. It comes, it's a hell of a lot more if it comes from another player than it does from a coach. Coaches are always correcting us. We're just basically negative guys at heart. Okay, but when another player gets on you and says, you ain't doing your job, our standard here is we're, you're one of 11 people. You just do your job and the other 10 do their job, usually things are going to work out pretty good. Fact. We need players that are taking charge, and they are. That's what I like about Similar this how young... I need this cameraman to do their job. Why is the cameraman dr like, is he drunk on the job? Who is the camera? The camera's up here, down here, this way, that way. What is the cameraman doing? Do your job. Group, is these guys are starting to take charge out there and get after each other a little bit and not accept it. And the only way you're going to do it is compete hard, compete hard. And the other thing you're going to do is when somebody doesn't do it, you take them out and you put somebody else in. It's called competition. Facts. Okay? Too many times around here, everything's based on salaries. I'm talking about it here. I'm talking about in the NFL. Based on a guy makes a lot of money. I don't get Hey, I don't have anything to do with salary cap as a defensive coordinator. All I know is the best 11 guys are going to go out there on the field. And the best 11 guys that are hungry and want to play. And one of those guys... Oh, look at the cameraman. Look at the cameraman. <laughs> Can you censor him? Look at the ca Like, what are we doing? Making a lot of money? Tough. Get the hell out. I've done it before. Okay, I took a starter out at, New or at Baltimore and put a back up in, and he played the rest of the year. And the starter never got back in. Facts. I don't really care. Okay, last year we didn't know. I didn't know a hell of a lot about this team. I know a lot more about it right now, and that's how we're going to play defense around here. Arthur, Arthur said something yesterday about you know talking to the team about the iPhone and all the predictions. Hey, old people ears be big as shit. Y'all ever notice that? <laughs> Dude, ear is long as hell. Why is it like that? Is my shit like that? I got little ears. Why is it so like elongated? It's the wrong predictions about the iPhone. You guys have. He can hear he can hear somebody a mile away. He can definitely hear somebody play call on the opposite hat on the opposite side of the field. He can definitely hear the play calls. I should I, hey y'all should be top ten for real. You can hear the play calls up before it is even called. I need you to hear it out every time, bro. Made a point to address your team with this stuff as well to tell them to not listen to that stuff. So did you feel like they were hearing it? Did you feel like those? Yeah, yeah they was hearing it. They hear it, they seen it in the in the stands. Don't nobody go to the games. Let's be honest. We just be honest. We have more away fans than home fans going to those games. They see it, they hear it. Whether it's from the fans or ESPN, they're clown. They're getting clowned. They're getting clowned. We're sorry. Even Madden knows it. Madden got them bottom five. <laughs> Come on, man. They know it. They know they suck. Come on. That's been Arthur's message uh, in the Dumb team meeting most of they the know. time. Is been that kind of stuff and it really it pertains to both sides of the ball whatever you can't you know I, all i can say is what i'd like to do is see writers that make predictions if you're wrong you get fired like a coach does well how what you yeah? have no no i don't think laps coaches coaches get fired when all of a sudden you don't win so why 
why should you guys be off the hook if your percentage is less than 50 percent mm. so huh so i think i think that that would be what i would really like to see going forward i would like to see that put in, no i'm just he ain't playing he ain't playing no he look the, bo the bottom line is is he that not. look we can't control what everybody else says about us what you got to do is you got to believe in yourself i've been there before okay not many times with new england and baltimore and stuff but i've been there before and I've seen it. And what you got to do, and, and you know what it does? It takes the right people. You want to really talk about it, you really want the truth, it takes the right players to do it. You got to take guys that won't take it. I will not tolerate this. I won't take it. And if you can't, you got to find those players. Those are the kind of guys. There's, there's so many times, and I hate to always kind of give you some past history and stuff, but not there's so too. many times I've never, if, if a coach has to raise his voice to get guys jacked up on defense we ain't good enough mm. it ain't about us giving a pep talk mm. bill belichick never gives a pep talk mm. for the game nothing nothing and he used to always say if it takes that before a game to get you ready i'm going to get you ready during the week you ought to be ready come sunday okay he doesn't give pep talks saban doesn't give really pep talks the guys i've worked for okay it's it's players that got to get ready and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to change a culture trying to bring players in here Finally. that got that kind of attitude whether they're the fastest guys or not i think we're a lot faster than we were a year ago whether that's it's all based on that it isn't based on that it's based on being a football player okay we get too caught some guys get too caught up in height weight speed vertical all this kind of stuff long I arms all that stuff i had james harrison in college nobody wanted his ass why 5'11 short arms Pretty good career. What do you think? You know, you know why? Because he was a nasty, tough football player that yeah. loved to play. That's what you have. That. That's we what we got to have here. Will Anderson next year, speaking to existence. Will Anderson. For I know y'all want quarterback, but Will Anderson, Will Anderson, Will Anderson, Will Anderson, Will Anderson, please. And that's how we change it. You change it with players and attitude. Yeah. You practice like today when, like in coverage, you see a corner riding a receiver to the pylon so you can't make the catch and things like that. Are you noticing more of the competition or the technique, the physicalities to make sure they're not getting sloppy because it is getting a little bit Yeah, the only thing I would say though, here's what, a, a, a guy told, I heard this a long time ago from an offensive like coach. Minutes, okay. I'm going to hear him out. And it was down in the red area and I remember the, the quarterback coach who I had the utmost respect for talking to the quarterback about being brave enough to throw it in there even when it looks like it's covered well to me i'm kind of want the same thing on defense i'd rather see our guys be over aggressive right now to the point of actually maybe even get an interference call not as long as it's not grabbing i'd rather see them that than sitting there and playing off and being soft and the guy catching it in front of you all day i'd rather we the only way you're going to make them aggressive is make them aggressive okay i remember going into a game one year at cincinnati back in new england and actually told Rodney Harrison in secondary at New England, I said, I want you guys all over these guys. They had Huth Mazada, Chad Bryant, you know, they had a hell of a team. I forgot Palmer. about that team. I said, we are going to go attack these guys. If they double move you, grab them, take the holding penalty, it's five yards. First down, big deal. We were so damn aggressive and played the hell out of them. I like the way he fit. That's like what we're that. trying to do here, especially in camp. We were not aggressive enough last year. We need to be aggressive in coverage. Yes. We've got a great corner out of here that can be aggressive, but we need everybody to be that. Facts. Given his experience, his fallibility to that number two course. It does. It's, it's a little similar to Fabian Moreau last year in some, in some way, but you're bringing, uh, you know, bringing in. The good thing about it is I think we got a great mixture of vets and secondary in, in back there in the secondary along with young guys. you got two young safeties, but you got two veteran safeties right behind them, pushing them and telling them and helping them a lot. And then you got corners out there, and then you got Darren and Paul and those guys that are over there fighting with Casey. So <laughs> P said, "Put the mic." I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk off over here and do my own thing, bro. Good. Mike Ford's really shown up. Great, great to have Isaiah back. I mean, I'm feeling good about those guys. When you see a front, like multiple scuffles out there for as long as you've been around football, like, do you kind of say, "Why are you doing this?" Or like, are you, you have like, does that kind of? get you energized a little bit like what goes through your head because you've been around it's longer. not surprising but when you get a spirit of practice it's, it's usually inevitable it's going to happen crap i've seen so many of them michael here's what i do i'm 72 years old i walk the other way 
my ass has been hit before. I went in there as a young buck trying to break it up and getting knocked out. You know what? You guys have at it. I'm, I'm done. Huh? Oh, way back when. I got knocked out. The guy went back to punch and got me with the elbow. I was behind him. About lost my teeth. So. New England. And believe it or not, the guy who was in the fight was Brady. <laughs> it wasn't him that hit me, but it was him. Yeah, you were going after the defensive guy. <laughs> hey, coach, I um I gotta go to Canton next week. Um, during the story of Richard uh, Seymour, what were your recollections of him? Uh, you know, playing up front for you guys, and, and he was a he was a monster up there for us. I mean, it, he's kind of the last of the two gap ends. You know, where him and Ty Warren could actually two gap guys and really play both gaps. He's kind of the last of that dying breed. You don't you don't see those guys out there anymore. But surprisingly, also, how athletic he was for as big as he was. I mean, and the other thing was he got his hands up. I mean, when he wanted to, he, he was a handful. And the good thing was it made guys like Bruski, Seau, pretty good inside backers, too. But it made those guys' a lot, life a lot easier, too, because it was hard for them to scoop and get up onto the second level. Guys like that, they're, they're hard to find anymore. He, he was a, and a great person, a great person. All right. That was Dean Pease. Uh, after the training camp, this was – look, he's saying everything I need to hear. I might, I might, you know, instead of going under, I might go over this year. I don't know. He, he, he's making me a believer. But let me know how y'all feel about the interview. Put it down below. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Any other news that happened and you want me to talk about it, put it in the comment section. Make sure to sign up on BetUS. I'm going to have a whole series this year of me making bets. So stay tuned. Sign up now. Click the link down below in the description and comment section. Follow me on the social medias as well in the, uh, in the description box below. And with that being said, we gone.